Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I uh, hope you guys are all doing well. Today we're going to be talking about the 4XE and why I got it um, versus just like the Wrangler, you know. Um, so there's a couple different things uh, that you might, might want to think about before you get this car, okay? So uh, real quick, it, it's a plug-in hybrid, okay? So meaning you plug it in overnight. Um, I have a level two charger in my house, so I can charge you up in about two and a half hours. I'm finding it takes a little bit less than that. I'm finding it takes about an hour and 45 to two hours to charge the whole thing from zero, from not zero, but like, well, actually, yeah, zero to full. Uh, most of the time I don't even run it down to zero, but uh, most of the time it doesn't take that long to charge it all the way up. Um, so that makes it even more convenient because you can kind of come and go and uh, get, not free, but cheaper than gas driving um, throughout the day depending on where you live. So, but anyways, let's, let's get a couple things, okay? So this is a plug-in hybrid. You get about 20, it's advertised as 21 miles um, on battery, but I'm getting about 24 or 27. Um, when it's warmer in the cold, you get a little bit less and you're gonna run it out faster. Even if it tells you you're gonna have that range, you're gonna have less because it's cold. Um, and depending on how much you punch it, okay? So the thing is, is they advertise it as like, I think something like 50 miles per gallon or something. And that calculation isn't exactly correct. Um, in order to get 50 miles per gallon, you got to be doing the average commute uh, back and forth from work, uh, charging it up, and then using the whole entire gas tank as well. But it's still for several, like several weeks, you get the 50 miles per gallon if you were mostly using the battery. Anyways, it's kind of complicated, but I just would say I wouldn't plan on getting this car if you're planning on getting hundreds of miles of um, cheap, cheap gas, okay? It's going to be cheaper than the Wrangler, where you're going to get like, what, 12 to 15 miles a gallon all the time, right? And if you're only doing short commutes, you're going to save a lot of money. But if you are getting this to think that you're going to drive hundreds of miles and get 50 miles a gallon, you know, for example, right now I have 256 miles of range. My battery's at zero because I've already ran out the plug-in battery. Um, battery. It's still a hybrid. It's always a hybrid, okay? Some people think that it runs out of battery and then it's only gas. It's still a hybrid, okay? It's still gonna use the, the battery uh, whenever it's most efficient to use the battery and uh, and whatnot, okay? So it's always a hybrid. But if I was to drive 256 miles right now, I'd probably be getting, depending on where I was driving, I'd probably be getting between 17 to 27 miles a gallon, depending on you know, if I'm going uphill, downhill, uh, how fast I'm going, am I on the freeway, all that stuff with the Wrangler and the wind resistance and all that kind of stuff, okay? So, um, yeah, if you're driving a long distance, you're gonna get 21 miles to 25 miles on that battery at first, using no, almost no gas. And then everything after that, it's gonna be hybrid mode using the gas and the battery. But you're not gonna get 50 miles a gallon per tank if that makes sense. It's kind of a little confusing when you look at it, okay? But I will tell you the strengths of this car. Um, number one, like I said, if you're just doing short commutes between home and back, you can almost drive this almost every single day back and forth from work and almost use no gas, okay? And in that sense, it's, it's, it's amazing. Um, the second thing is, is off-roading with that electric battery, whether you're using only electric or whether you're using the electric and the gas in hybrid mode, the torque is equal to the 392, right? So you're, you're getting in a car where you can get a lot better gas mileage, especially if you're commuting short amount, short distances and plugging in, you know, I, I plug in two times a day, sometimes three times a day and drive 60 miles on only battery, right? So if you're doing stuff like that, it's great. And then you get the benefit of having just as much torque as the 392 engine, um, that Jeep Wrangler. So, it's, it's, it's a pretty sweet machine, okay? So, who is this Jeep for? It's not it's not for someone who wants to have a highly efficient hybrid. If you want a highly efficient hybrid, you're probably better off going with something like the, the RAV4 Prime. I think that, supposedly, from my understanding, it's 100 miles on battery or, or something, right? So, that'd be a much better choice if you were going to be doing a lot of long distance driving and not a lot of off-roading. That car is decent. It's kind of similar to the, um, you know, the Jeep uh, Cherokees that I used to have. Um, but it's, so you can go, you know, camping trails, dirt trails, a little bit of 
a little bit of sketchy stuff, but not not a ton, right? Definitely not something you can do in a Wrangler. So this car is for someone who wants that extra power and extra torque, right? And then short commutes. Or if you don't care about gas mileage and you only want that torque, it's really cool <laughs> and it's really fun. You also get like the silent driving off-roading, which is actually pretty neat. Um, you don't surprise as many animals, uh, stuff like that, right? So it's, uh, it's a neat car, it's a fun car to drive. But like I said, I would not get it if you're planning on, you know, getting 50 miles a gallon. It's not going to do that for you, right? Unless you're doing, I mean, you, you could do that, right? If you, if, you, if you drive enough battery miles every week and then you run the gas tank out and then average it out, you could get 50 miles a gallon or more. You know, for example, let's say you drove 2,000 miles only using the battery, and then you only drove 200 miles, 280 miles on gas, which I think is what I get on a full tank. Well, it's about 300. I got 300 miles of gas range on a full tank of gas, okay? So, but if you were to drive like 2,000 miles using only the battery, and then you only use one tank of gas, that would average out to a lot of miles, right? So, it really just depends on how much you're using the battery versus how much you're using the gas. Anyways, guys, I uh, hope it helps you guys out, depending on, you know, if you should choose this car or not. And uh, talk to you guys later. Please subscribe.